Hello everyone, my name is Ilir2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of EU4 with Byzantium. Yes, so in the last episode we pushed back Austria-Hungary yet again and we've conquered Croatia, finally finishing up the Balkans as you can see. Yep, there you go. We are also right next to Wien, Vienna. Because we need that to form the Roman Empire. Yeah, so we need, right now, Italy, France, Iberia, Maastricht, then Fez, London, Yorkshire, Zealand, and Wien. All we need now, or what we're going to do now, is we're going to go into the Maastricht, which is Hassa and Persia. Unfortunately, they're allied with each other. Only allied with each other, so I can call them in as co-belligerents. And, I mean, it's only like five areas, right? No. Nope. A lot of areas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're probably not going to be able to take it all over. Now, how strong? Persia's not that strong, right? Yeah, only 35,000. They have no manpower right now. Perfect opportunity for us, although we do need to core this land, so let's just wait. Now, coalitions. No, oh, no, they're leaving the coalition. What? So half the people left the coalition, then the other half of the people joined the coalition. Okay. Weird world. But, uh, yeah. So, after that, we have claims on southern Italy for another 20 years. We're going to have to declare war in Spain next. They're only allied with the Papal States. And have to Puya as a vassal. I believe that's actually a um, South American native group. So, it's not that bad. And how strong are they? Spain. Only 41,000. That is absolutely nothing. We have more than double that. Um, oh, there you go. Spain has entered with the coalition, so that's a problem. We cannot have Spain in that coalition when it, we fire, because we are not going to be fighting everyone in the coalition. So Spain, currently they really, really hate us. Yeah, mostly for aggressive expansion. That's bad. Uh, so we still need scientific experimentation. We're going to wait till that. For that, we definitely should get, like, trade ideas, because we have all this land, all these trade nodes that we're not, you know, doing anything with, like Ragusa and Venice. Once we take over the Venetian area, we're going to make a lot of money from Venice. All right, the Philosopher has died. Oh, Missionary Strength guy. Hell yeah. And now it looks like we're getting Hungarians reb Hungarian rebels, which is okay. We can take them down. Easy peasy. A lemon, a squeezy. Right. Um, okay, Hungarians. Yeah, I think they might. They may be the only ones to rise up. Maybe Croatians as well. There you go. Hungarians risen up in a horrible area. Oh, horrible for them, but uh, good for us. Diplomatic insult. Ooh, yes. Does that include Spain? Yes, it includes Spain. Hell yes. So everyone loves me a bit more. Let's try to make sure that they get out of that coalition, so we can uh, declare war on them later. Uh, I totally just forgot. Do we not have a claim? We do not have a claim on them. Great! We should probably build one of those. One of those, uh, one of those old claims. Probably should have been doing that months ago, but, you know, whatever. Fuck me, I guess. Okay, so... Oh my god, Tomkin actually took that land. I guarantee you Spain's gonna take that over. That's gonna suck. But Portugal, are you still... Portugal is still all alone. And they don't even have a colony yet. Neither does Spain. What? Neither of them have colonies? These, I should, yeah, you should be able to see colonies. Neither Spain nor Portugal has colonies. That is weird. Weird world indeed. All right, and of course, begin the conversions. Divine guidance. Ooh, gain stability, hell yes. Thank you. Oh, do they leave the coalition? No. Well, they still love me, so that's good. Not love, but they like me. And there's all the Catholics getting converted. Good. Court faction influences ruler. Awesome. So there's still 27 Ugh, penalty. And even then, after enough land gets um, the printing press, it's going to cost us a fuck ton of money. It's going to suck. 
Yep, looks like Croatians will rise up indeed. All right, well, ooh, Netherlands declared independence in Burgundy. That, that means a lot of land. Oh, yeah. Are they going to win, though? Probably not. Ethiopian slave trade. Um, arrangements to locals work fine. Well, slave entrepots, which means more trade power. I mean, sure, why not? We'll use slaves. It's only not even the 1600s, so we should have plenty of slaves on our side. Probably. I don't know. Anyways. Conversion's done. Last of the land's getting converted to glorious true Christianity, a.k.a. Orthodox. Looks like the Protestant Reformation has been totally, totally... Yep, and there you go. HRE is now officially Catholic. Ugh, officially Catholic. But yeah, the Protestant Reformation has totally failed. How incredibly sad. We're under attack and I didn't pay attention. Get in there. Cool. So we just lost a ton of soldiers for fucking rebels. Not fucking rebels, but because of adjective fucking. Okay, never mind. Um. Okay, you. You the last one. Uh, and you. Get over there. Just everyone get over there. And our claim secured. So once they all get over there, we'll declare war. We have no rebels left. Good. Good, good, good. What is their technology? Ooh, only 11 and 12. We are... That is good. All right. So scientific experimentation. Let's go ahead and finally get trade ideas. Good. So now we have 10% trade efficiency and another 20% global trade power. So we are definitely powerful and we're very close to that land force limit modifier at that point we're gonna have a very high force limit <sighs> fucking russia though russia is just a little bit too extreme i might actually call them in because they're right next to us that's good allied with denmark and who circassia allied with circassia really the guys they've been at war with for a very long time that's weird these guys enter the coalition. Oh boy. Hopefully, uh, we don't get too many coalition members from this area down here. Uh, prestige decrease. That's fine. All right, let's pull out of them. All right, so we have our entire army of 90,000 right on the edge. Gelray has joined the Republic, although it looks as though the Netherlands is going to fail. Uh, Burgundy's just too strong. Why is Brittany... Why is Brittany not been annexed? France, what are you doing? Who are they allied with? Burgundy. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Alright, so let's go ahead and declare war on... Hassa, right? Uh, yeah, they have the most land. Let's just do it on Hassa. Why not? We have military access. We do? Whatever. Cancel it then. Right now, send them out. Call Russia, call Russia in, and purge that as a co-belligerent. Cool. And just everyone go crazy. I can't move there for some reason. Oh no, they're not in the war yet. Okay, there you go. Everyone go crazy. Have fun. That's the most important part: is to have fun, kids. All right, and go there, and over there. Over to Baghdad. Oh, and there's the army. Of around 40,000. That's pretty extreme, to be honest. Um, can we actually get... Yeah, let's get the good leader over here. And um, wait for them to get locked in. Let a little bit run away over to here. Should be an easy battle. We, Yeah, they're attacking across river into mountains. And actually, their morale is... Their everything is very similar to ours. That's bad. Ugh. we got to win this battle. Good. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, move over there. You move over there. Wait, you should be good now. Move this army down here. And uh, this army can move up here. Cool. Disease outbreak. Great. Just what I wanted. State censorship. No, I don't want that. 
Dalmatia, Ragusa, local unrest. Missionary strength, what? Why would there be missionary strength decrease? They're already, you know what, fuck it. Rise up, see what happens. Do it, Ragusa, I dare you. Russia is now helping out, good. Just FYI, Russia, you better not take land down here. All right, but they should definitely make this easier. Wait, shit, that's not... Okay, I gotta secure the Mashrik before Russia gets down here. Oh, shit. Do not get out here, Mashrik. Uh, Mashrik. Russia. Can't afford you to do that. All right, and come on. Come on and slam. All right, so Persia... We're going to want to separate piece them. Oh, shit. We're not going to be able to separate piece them the way I want it. Okay, what if we separate piece them like this? Where is it? Uh, regions? There you go. We're going to separate piece them like that. And then uh, we'll piece out Hasa as well. Later. You know, later. I'm sorry. These guys need to go here first. You go here. Oh, shit. Come on, Russia. Don't bug me like this. There, there. You guys done? Okay, you're done. Alright, so I believe we secured all the Maghreb area that we want. And now Russia can siege down all that they want. Which is good enough for me. Alright, and just keep moving down, sieging them up. How much army do they have in general? Yeah, I think that's their entire army that was up here. That's good. Persia has accepted people from Bukhara. Oh, that's always fun. Great. So now we have Conateri to fight. Why don't we help them out? Help them out in the old siege. Uh, move up to Tehran. Or near Tehran, I guess. Mazdaranan. Persia, are you close to accepting? We could take this opportunity just to take a fuck ton of land. I mean, Mosul. How is Mosul? It's in South Kurdistan, but it's not considered in the region. It's in Persia. Oh, wait. We're taking over South Kurdistan just separately. Which, by the way, Kurd is... Oh, no. Kurdish is a thing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. All right. And you guys, yep, stay put. Should be fine. Yeah, and Russia's gonna just destroy them. More coalition, I think I saw. I think that's what that was. Byzantium owns more lands. Yay! And we took this land over. Good. So one of you guys, alright, you have the a leader in there. Great. Is that their capital? Holy shit, that's the capital. Huh. Not realize that. Well, once the capital falls, I pretty much guarantee you that uh, it'll all be end over. It'll all be over soon, Persia. It'll all be over. And then... Well, fun times. Fun times ensue. Alright, so will you surrender yet? You will indeed. Here, let's just do that. Just so we can connect the land. And, um... Let's actually take that land over as well. That's 109. You know what? Uh, just take that land so we can totally encompass it. And give me all your money. Revoke cores? No. Release anyone? Hormuz? No. Uh, people get pissed off? Yeah, but who cares at this point? Not I. Not I. Go ahead and core the land. I can't really afford it, but whatever. Alright, so now the war should be very easy. Just get everyone around these areas. Cool. I don't want to end the war until after we've um, cored all this land. Because we are a bit high on the old overextension. Let's go ahead and get the Tenail. It's going to cost us a lot of money to get the printing press. So I'm, I'm just going to keep going. Siege of Katif has ended. Great. Let's move this dude down and this dude down. Just to make sure we can siege up all the land. And go to Qatar. Alright, he is definitely ready. 
definitely ready to surrender. You should give this up to me. Yep, good. So all of your land, right? Is this not all? What? Oh, right. It's a little island right here. Fortunately, we cannot go there. Uh, not for a little while, at least. Uh, trade policy success. Great. And hopefully these rebels, the Iraqi rebels and Kurdish rebels, can rise up. The Mashrik. Mashriki. That's weird how it's called Mashriki and not like Iraq. I guess Iraqi. Uh, whatever. It's like sort of a thing, but not really. But it is. Whatever. Um. State censorship. Fine. Whatever. I don't care for that one area not getting enough institution. Spain, are you still only allied with people? Oh, the Commonwealth. Oh, no. Well, on the bright side, that does mean Russia can join in the war if I didn't call them into this war. Oh, boy. Fuck. So now the... Co oh, actually, if the ne the Neapolins, if they could uh, do it, they could rise up, that would be great. Because then I can attack ne Neapoli, Naples. Naples. I could attack Naples. And, um easily win the war because naples would have no friends especially not the commonwealth god i do not want to fight the commonwealth they're 73,000, and i wouldn't fight them with russia either although if i actually declare war right now oh my god yeah wait they're still in the coalition fuck me well if they're still in the coalition we're not going to declare war on them it might be a while i might not be able to finish this secure southern italy for a while which is unfortunate, but, you know, whatever. What can I do? Let's go ahead and get a merchant. An extra merchant to go to Ragusa, because we have plenty of money here that we're just not collecting. And so we're going to 23 to 24 and a half. That's good. And there you go. The cores have been constructed. So now we're going to want... All of this land, correct? That is the Mashrik. Yes. Good. That's all the Mashrik. Under true Roman control. Return your lands. Uh, back to Hormuz. No. Najd. Yeah, give away Najd. Samar. Just split up all this area. And that's it. Goodbye. So now Hassa is back to being just Qatar and Awal. That's great. Great for us, at least. Cool. All right. So now, oh, we also own this area. What's this area called? That thing. We now own all the Mashrik. Yep. Cool. By the way, is that a, oh, that's a dead cow. I don't know why someone brought a cow into the desert, but whatever. Mamluks have entered the coalition. Well, Mamluks, I don't care about you. You're in Arabia. In fact, you're... That, that is so weird how they survived in Arabia. <laughs> so dumb, too. Right, we should also probably convert all this Shia lands to the glory of orthodoxy. They will know the glory of Jesus. Gujarat has entered the coalition. Oh, boy. And now we have... Plenty of rebels. A lot of Iraqi separatists. What the hell? Oh, no. Persians and Iraqis rose up at the same time. So, uh, yeah, that's why that looks so big. Next is Ardalan. Ardalan separatists. Which shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, they're right there. That's all they are. All right, let's increase the autonomy there. Why not? And uh, purchase another ability. All right. Ship trade power propagation. Why not? Good enough for me. I suppose. I suppose. But yeah, so Byzantium, nice, large, and in charge. Has forced house to break their alliance. No. Oh. Austria is forced to break. Forced Hesse to break their alliance with Venice. So now Venice is only allied with Oldenburg and the Papal States. Yeah, funny. In fact, if I could get. Oh, hey, look, Great Britain. If I could get the Papal States to break their alliance with Spain, that would be ideal although i think i want to wait for russia i think i need to wait for russia's uh have enough favors with them because then we could squish the commonwealth once and for all i could take over these lands from the commonwealth 
And then I could take lands I want from uh, Spain and will be absolutely swell. Everything will be coming up Millhouse, as they say. As I say, pretty much. I'm the only one who has ever said that. At least I think. <laughs> Alright, you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so. Mashriq is secured. We have pushed Persia back. And now we're having problems with Spain. Maybe we should keep moving down North Africa. Is Tunis? Tunis is in the coalition, aren't they? Yep. Oh my god, everyone's in the coalition. And we cannot fight a huge coalition war. At least not right now. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilira too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, goodbye. Uh...